Welcome those of you who are watching on the replay. This is Julie Jordan Scott and we are here for poetry and writing prompts in the park. How's it going? You know what's really upsetting is my favorite park, my favorite Brambley Park got a not so pretty facelift <laughs> since the last time I was here. Hey Lisa, a lot of trees are gone and they've Ugh, not happy, but we have a great poem today and we have a great prompt. Here's the prompt, which I love. If you saw it on Twitter, maybe that's what brought you here. But the prompt is, what poem does your life write? And what song does your life flute play? Maybe you never thought of that before. I didn't know that I had a life flute. But the poem we're going to be hearing in just a few minutes is by Louisa May Alcott, who you might know more as a novelist. In fact, she wrote Little Women. That's probably her most famous work. Um, she also wrote something called Hospital Sketches. She was a Civil War nurse, so she's a veteran of the U.S. Army. And um, she also wrote lots of other things because she had to keep her family um, solvent when her father wasn't capable of doing so. She's actually a really fascinating woman, Louisa May Alcott. And I visited her birthplace um, just last week. Another interesting thing about the Alcott family is they are friends with a lot of the people in the transcendental, transcendentalist movement of the 19th century, including Henry David Thoreau. And today's poem is about Henry David Thoreau. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Jordan Scott. This is where you can find me here and on Twitter. I am a creative life coach. I work with people to inspire their artistic rebirth, people like you, because the world is waiting for your words. That's why I do these scopes, to help you and your creativity along the way. So how it works is this. I give you the prompt, which I just showed and shared, and then I read the poem. And then um, we take a breath. We may talk a little bit. You can comment or ask questions. And then we read the poem for a second time. Okay? So you may come and go as you please. Uh, if you share with your friends, that would be great. If you want to hear the poem for the first time and then share after the poem for the first time, that's fine too. I just really appreciate your presence and your heart and your attention. So again, here is the prompt. What poem does your life write? And what song does your life flute play? As you hear the poem, these will make more sense perhaps. Oh, here, I'll put that back. Did you get it on the screenshot one more time? <laughs> In case you didn't get it the first time. Okay, that's the prompt. Now the poem is by... Oh, it's upside down? That wasn't very good. I'm sorry about that, my friend. Here we go. Anyone who wants to screenshot the prompt, here's your chance. <sighs> Feels good just to see it, doesn't it? Okay right side up. I'm going to get the poem now. It's called Thoreau's Flute. It was read at his funeral. Another place I've been is at his grave and Louisa May Alcott's grave as well in Concord, Massachusetts. But here we go, Thoreau's Flute by Louisa May Alcott. We, sighing, said, our pan is dead. His pipe hangs mute beside the river, around it wistful sunbeams quiver, but music's airy voice is fled. Spring mourns as for untimely frost, the bluebird chants a requiem, the willow blossom waits for him, the genius of the wood is lost. Then from the flute, untouched by hands, there came a low harmonious breath, for such as he there is no death. His life, the eternal life, commands. Above man's aims, his nature rose. The wisdom of a just content made one small spot a continent and turned to poetry life's prose. Haunting the hills, the stream, the wild, swallow and aster, lake and pine, to him grew human or divine, fit mates for this large-hearted child. Such homage nature ne'er forgets. And yearly, on the coverlid, neath which her darling lieth hid, will write his name in violets. That is Thoreau's Flute by Louisa May Alcott. 
Kay the prompt for you to write from, and I suggest you take some time to contemplate this one. You may begin writing at any point. You might want to jot a few notes as we read for the second time. What poem does your life write? So Thoreau's life wrote this poem through Louisa May Alcott. So if you want to imagine someone else writing your life in a poem, what might they say? The other way to approach this is if you were writing someone else's life into a poem, what might you say? And then what song does your life flute play? Louisa May Alcott writes about his flute, Thoreau's flute hanging, no sound, no song coming from it. And so um, then she said, wait, wait. There came that low harmonious breath playing anyway. So what song does your life flute play? Ah, the second time I'll read a little bit um, slower. So if you're going to leave, I'll miss you. I hope you'll stay. If you don't, I totally understand. Please think of following me. This is where you can find me here and on Twitter. If you write anything, I'd love to see it. Just tweet me if you would. Send me a tweet to any links. Um, you know, that's part of the whole artistic rebirth thing. I love to see the fruits of that work and of this work and of the poets who I hopefully, um, hopefully inspire you as much as they do. Uh, do. <laughs> I can't talk as much as they do me. So are you ready? One more time for Thoreau's Flute by Louisa May Alcott. Okay. We, sighing, said, Our pan is dead. His pipe hangs mute beside the river. Around it wistful sunbeams quiver. But music's airy voice is fled. Spring morns, as for untimely frost, the bluebird chants a requiem, the willow blossom waits for him, the genius of the wood is lost. Then from the flute, untouched by hands, there came a low, harmonious breath. For such as he, there is no death. His life, the eternal life, commands. Above man's aims, his, his nature rose. The wisdom of a just content made one small spot a continent and turned to poetry life's prose. Haunting the hills, the stream, the wild, swallow and aster, lake and pine, to him grew human or divine, fit mates for this large-hearted child. Such homage nature ne'er forgets, and yearly on the coverlid, neath which her darling lieth hid, will write his name in violets. One final time, the prompt for you to consider and to write from. What poem does your life write? And what song does your life flute play? This is Julie Jordan Scott. Thank you for being here today. I'm so grateful that you took some time out to listen to poetry and to consider your life in poetic terms. I'm a creative life coach. My work is about inspiring your artistic rebirth because the world is waiting for your words. The world is waiting for breath to move through your latest project. <sighs> Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.